Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now here in my hands, my SIG P365XL. This is my go-to firearm. I absolutely love it. It's my everyday carry. But what you'll notice is this does have a gun wrap on it. So here, this is the Gun Skins camo wrap in the color Kuyu Vias, which Kuyu Vias, I absolutely love. I love the way this gun looks. I just need to progress in my channel and part of my brain says, well, if I put a wrap on this and the wrap is meant to protect the gun, did it really protect it? Or have I done anything to possibly cause damage? I mean, there are a few things about this skin that I greatly like and a few things that quite frankly sort of bother me. And today is a day to answer some of the questions that I'm really wondering. What does this look like underneath? When I put this on, I had to use tools like X-Acto blades. Did I scuff up and scratch up my finish? I have no way of knowing. And the only way to figure it out is to actually take the wrap back off. So what we're going to do today, well, that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to take this wrap off. We're going to look at my firearm in detail. We're going to see if I've caused any damage. And we're going to see if I can get my firearm to look as close as back to that factory finish as possible. And then in the future, well, who knows? Maybe I will want to wrap it again. I just really have no way of knowing. But the only way to figure it out is to get into it. So with that said, I have a whole bunch to do and a whole bunch to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. And so again here, the Gun Skins Camo Wrap. Now, thank you very much to the people at Gun Skins who did provide this for my initial reviews. I put this wrap on a rifle stock. I put this wrap on this handgun. But again, at this point, I'm going to take this off. Now, I'm trying to think about the methods. The first thing I definitely want to do is just try to peel it off. I don't know if I can literally just peel this off or if there's going to be a ton of residue or what it's even going to look like. And then, well, we'll go from there. I could try to take it off with a hair dryer. We'll give that a try. What are the methods I'm going to need to get this wrap off of here? So with that, we're going to flip the camera around and we're going to get into this. And so again, my SIG P365XL. Now, this has been awesome. I've loved the wrap. It's been very good for me overall. I love the look. That's the first thing. I absolutely love Kuyu Vias, and I love the fact that I can incorporate that exact camo pattern onto my different firearms and including my handgun, which is really, really cool. So that's the first thing. You'll notice that even though the wrap went into my proprietary rail, so the SIG P365 and 365XL do have a proprietary rail, my weapon light was easily able to grab onto that. So I never had any problems, never had any issues. This fit just fine. So that worked out. So I'm just gonna remove this and set it to the side. Now the next thing as we go through this, first and foremost, magazine is dropped. I'm going to check this, everything is clear and I'm gonna start to tear this all down. So that's the first thing as I get into this, just kind of, stripping this and getting it to the point where I'm taking it apart. Now, when I got the wrap the in the first place and started installing it, I did it in stages. I did the handle and the grip module all separately. I did the slide assembly all separate. I had to remove my sights. So this entire thing, I'm kind of going to just like take it all apart and just roughly field strip it here so that I can work on this a little bit easier and so that we can look at this in some detail. Now I have put a couple hundred rounds through this, so it might be a little bit dirty, but I'm hoping we're gonna be able to work on this just fine. Now, another thing is you'll notice that this does have the slide cut. Well, this wrap might go under little bits of it. I tried to avoid that, so we'll see if we can peel this off without removing my sights but I might have to do that. And the other thing worth noting is that here we have the Hogue beaver tail grip that's over some of this. 
So that I probably have to figure out if I can get that off. So I might have to heat that up and see if I can get this back off. And the other thing is, well, my fire control unit is still inside. And you can see with some of the things that have been cut out here, this might need to come out too. So I am going to punch this, pull out my fire control unit. So we're working on the grip module itself. Which leads me to the first part of the discussion here. I really don't see any way that the uh, wrap would have impacted or damaged my fire control unit. So this seems to be more than fine. So that's a check. And then as we get into the grip module, again, you'll notice some of the places where I had to make the cutouts. So this all seems to work. So my next step and what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna attempt to get this hog grip off of here. So I'm gonna heat up some water, like almost to the point of boiling and see if I can remove this hog grip. And if not, I might have to cut it off, which would potentially damage my handle module, but I don't know, we'll see. So that's the next thing. Let's see if I can get this off. And so here you can see the whole grip came off easily, no problem. And the best part is I did not cause any damage to the wrap. That's one thing. I just wanted to be able to appropriately demonstrate this. And you can see that even when I installed the grip in the first place, it had no damage to the wrap. Now, at this point, I'm going to start kind of peeling at this which is a little bit of a shame because it was a ton of work to get this on here, but in the name of science, this is what we do. And you'll see here, this does appear to peel off fairly easy, all things considered. And even though this had the stippling on there, no problem. So this does seem to peel off pretty easy. And from what I can tell, no significant residue. So that's nice. I'm gonna keep working at this here. And you'll see no real need to even heat this up at all. And this wrap seemingly coming off with ease. So this might be a good sign. This was what I was really wondering, like at some point, what's gonna happen now? take this conversation to the next level at this point. Of course, I don't really expect to have any damage at all on the polymer, but in the cases where I may have scratched this uh, with tools, with the X-Acto knife, with just like ripping things around, I mean, that is certainly a possibility, but as I mentioned so far, everything seemingly in really, really good shape. So that's a good sign. Now keep in mind, this wrap has been on here for 10 months. That's 10 months of carry, 10 months of range sessions, you know, 10 months of heat and cool. And then just the fact that this essentially sticker has been stuck to my firearm for 10 months. So if it was longer, I don't think the results would change. Um, but I think 10 months is enough just to say like, hey, if this was going to cause an issue, like I think we would have seen something by now. So anyway, just some interesting data points, keeping in mind the fact that this has, you know, a, a few hundred rounds, maybe a thousand rounds through it with the wrap. Uh, and then also 10 months of and I'm not going to say everyday carry because I have carried other firearms, uh, but certainly a significant amount of carry in and out of holsters, uh, in and out of, you know, the, the different, uh, uh, you know, storage in and out of my belt, but you know, the different things that you may want to consider. So all in all, I'm pretty happy with how this is turning out. And so far this is coming off fairly easy, all things considered. And after a mere matter of three to five minutes, that is entirely removed with no pieces, no chunks, and literally no residue. That's the part that has me kind of surprised. Like there's no stickies, there's no mess to clean up. This came off actually about as perfect as I could have hoped for. 
and when you look at the actual, you know, sticker of the vinyl itself, I mean, it's still plenty tacky. So the fact that this held as well as it does to the polymer grip, yet doesn't leave any residue after all of that use and all of that time, I'm actually pretty impressed. And so now as we turn the corner into the slide, keep in mind, this is what was really riding on my holster. So here you can see a little bit of wear on the front sort of corner here. And it looks like it might have worn through some of the color. Uh, but other than that, I mean, the rest of this is in actually pretty good shape. And that's another thing worth noting, the fact that the vinyl is really fairly durable. It hasn't caused any issues. Uh, I really haven't seen anything peeling off or flaking off or pulling off. And the only place things are funny for me are on my front sights. Uh, this kind of went a little haphazardly as I put it on. Um, and it has a couple little patches, but that's not because of really anything other than the way I installed it. So anyway, with that said, I think we're in pretty good shape here. I'm just going to start to peel this away. And before I do that, just moving some of my parts off to the side. And as we get into this, the question is, will this be stuck so far? I'm going to say no. And you can see the serrations in the slide. There may be a little bit of residue there. But exposing the logo, look at, I don't know if you can see this, but you can literally see the P365 logo in the vinyl in reverse. And that just goes to show how well this adhered. Now, the reason why I was concerned about this, think about it. I had no oils at all on my slide, none. Bare metal with, you know, the factory coating, but this can rust. And if you get moisture on this, you're kind of in trouble. And so what I wanted to see is, was it possible that moisture got beneath this? And before you install the vinyl, you really need to clean this up and get all the oils off. And that's what really had me questioning this the entire time. So I hope I don't remove this and find out that somehow there was moisture beneath my vinyl. And we'll see. And you can see, I mean, look how just dull this metal looks. I mean, the slide, this is just so dull. It has no life to it, no oils. It's literally completely dry. So at least the vinyl is coming off easily, but man, do I just need to get some CLP on this thing and get some life back into this steel because it is just dull, dull, dull gray completely dull. But generally speaking, I don't find as though there's any vinyl sort of sticky residue that's being left behind. Maybe a little bit in a couple of spots, like there is some right here. So I might need just a little rubbing alcohol or something. I can see a little bit of chatter on my serrations and I don't know, maybe that's from me or from my holster somehow, but that's funny. So I've got little pock marks in that. And so at this point, I have this like 99% complete. There is a little piece that's stuck underneath my sights, underneath the cutout, which I will need to remove this just to get that little piece out of there. But generally speaking, I don't see any true notable damage I don't see any true notable scuff marks from when I installed it using X-Acto knives around the steel. So no major scratches. I was fairly careful and certainly tried to be. And that seems to be uh, really working to my advantage now that I've taken the wrap off. There is some areas of a little bit of residue. So I can see here a little bit of residue buildup. 
down here, not a big deal, but I can get that off. A little bit of residue here up towards the muzzle and a decent amount of residue uh, and sort of sticky buildup up around my front sights and another little last little chunk of the vinyl there. So all things considered, I would say this was fairly successful and the most important part, and the part that I really wanted to understand, is was it possible with bare, naked steel with no oils or any level of protection, was it possible to potentially get moisture underneath, create pitting, create rust issues on my slide? But from what I can tell, the answer is no. So did the vinyl wrap ultimately protect my firearm? Well, to the people at Gunskins, I'm going to say yes, it did. And so all in all, I must say I am actually kind of impressed at how easy it was to get the vinyl back off. I didn't expect it was going to be that easy. I didn't think it was going to be miserably difficult, but I figured there would be residue all over this thing and I'd have to clean it up. And at this point, I just need a little alcohol swab and touch up a couple of spots, pop the rear sights off real quick. That's not going to be a problem. Probably a good idea to do that anyway and just work on my sights and get my sights back into alignment. Every now and then things get whacked. So a nice fresh restart is in my opinion, not a bad thing. Get some fresh oils on this and uh, yeah, just move forward. So again, to the people at Gunskins, first off, thank you very much for providing this for review for the installation in the first place. And now I'm just impressed that it actually came off and it protected my firearm. So a little bit of an experiment here today. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you learned a little bit. I know I certainly did. And if you enjoy this content, do me a favor, take a look at my Outer Limitless channel, which is more of my primary gear. On that channel, I cover everything from hiking, camping, backpack, excursions, all the gear that goes with it. So from sleep systems, shelter systems, knives, axes, backpacks, flashlights, you name it, that's my Outer Limitless YouTube channel. So all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.